I was monitoring a road cut right up there, uh, and I found a small fragment of bone. So I decided to look around the area and see if there was possibly anything else. I was just about to give up on that area when I saw some bone sticking out. And I followed it. There was bone, 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 something, something. Okay, we need to go back and check this area out. Started excavating. We decided to bring out a crew of people so we could get it out really quickly. The next three or four days, we had three to four people on our shift. And you know, we just worked tirelessly to get this thing out of the ground. So this is the very back end of the skull. Uh, this was the piece that was sticking out at the beginning when I found it. So I found all these pieces and then two more sections of the skull that we jacketed. We also found 18 teeth. Uh, some of them are in a cluster in a jacket and some of them were taken out individually. Then we found one phalanx, so like a finger bone from the flipper. I thought this was pretty awesome because to find something like this that was big and you know, this many teeth. Normally when you find uh, whales, it's an isolated rib or a vertebrae. And to find 18 teeth and part of the skull and a flipper bone and part of the jaw, it's pretty exciting. The idea is we preserve it in place, but we only recover what we found. The history of life in Orange County goes back 180 million years. Again, marine fossils. And the ones that we have today are about 10 to 12 million years, so it falls in this area. We have never found a sperm whale like this before in Orange County that I'm aware of, and now we have this. 